I'm really second guessing myself on posting this video because this is probably the most difficult video I've ever made on this channel. And we're talking about the KU men's basketball head coaches. And I'm going to do something. And it's all based on my opinion. Let's get into the video. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Drew, better known as BrockShock01. And in this video, I'm going to be ranking every single KU men's basketball head coach from worst to best. And it's all based on my opinion. Yeah, there's really nothing to it on this one. No facts. No nothing. It's who I believe is the best and worst head coaches in KU history. Now, for those of you who don't know, but majority of you probably do know, in Kansas's 120 plus years of basketball, there have been only eight head coaches. Most other schools have had probably mm, 20 to 30, give or take with the good programs, it's probably closer to like 10 to 20. But yeah, KU's only had eight. And that's saying something. But yeah, I had the dumb idea of ranking all eight head coaches from worst to best, in my opinion. And I know there's going to be people in the comments saying one is better than the other. But the true question of the matter is, who do you guys think is going to be at the top of my list? And who do you think is going to be at the bottom of my list? Let me know in the comments. But without further ado, here goes nothing. Number eight. William O. Hamilton, probably without a doubt the least known head coach in the University of Kansas. Hamilton led the Jayhawks for 10 seasons from 1909 until 1919 and compiled a record of 125 wins and 59 losses. He also concluded his time at Kansas with five conference championships. Number 7, James Naismith. Yep, I know I'm going to get a bit of flack for this. But the inventor of the game was KU's first head men's basketball coach. He led the Jayhawks from 1898 to 1907 and compiled a 55 and 60 record. He is the only coach in KU's history to finish his time at Kansas with a losing record. Number six, Dick Harp. It sucks for me to say this, but Harp is probably considered the most mediocre coach in KU history. Before becoming head coach, Harp was a former player at KU and went to the Final Four in 1940. He then became an assistant coach under Fog Allen before taking the job as the fourth head men's basketball coach in school history. Harp led Kansas from 1956 until 1964, won two conference championships, and took the 1957 team to the Final Four before falling in the national championship game to North Carolina in triple overtime. Number 5, Ted Owens. As of this recording, Ted Owens is currently the third longest tenured head coach in Kansas history. Owens led Kansas from 1964 until 1983. He compiled a record of 348 wins and 182 losses in his time at KU. He also won six conference championships, went to seven NCAA tournaments, and went to two Final Fours in 1971 and 1974. Number four, Larry Brown. As of right now, Brown is the shortest tenured head coach in KU history, but there's no doubt he left a huge impact on the program. Brown led KU from 1983 until 1988 and compiled a record of 135 wins and 44 losses. In his tenure at KU, Brown won one conference championship, went to five straight NCAA tournaments, went to two Final Fours, and in 1988 claimed Kansas' fourth national championship. Number 3. Roy Williams as of right now, Williams is the fourth longest tenured head coach in Kansas history, and there's no complaining why. Williams led the Jayhawks from 1988 until 2003, and compiled a record of 418 wins and 101 losses. Williams also won seven Conference Coach of the Year awards, won nine conference championships, went to 14 NCAA tournaments, went to four Final Fours, 
and went to two national championship games, but fell in both games. Number 2. Fog Allen As of this recording, Allen is the longest tenured head coach in Kansas history, as his career at KU spans for 39 seasons. He led the Jayhawks from 1907 until 1909, then came back to KU and led them from 1919 until his retirement in 1956. Allen compiled a record of 590 wins and 219 losses. He won 24 conference championships, went to four NCAA tournaments, went to three Final Fours, won two Helms Foundation National Championships, and won an NCAA championship in 1952. Number 1. Bill Self The current men's basketball coach is without a doubt in my mind the greatest in KU's history. Self has been at Kansas ever since 2003 and has compiled a record so far of 556 wins and 124 losses. Self went to 18 NCAA tournaments, won 16 conference championships, was a six-time Conference Coach of the Year, a two-time National Coach of the Year, went to four Final Fours, and won two National Championships in 2008 and 2022. He's the only coach in KU's history to win two NCAA Championships. And that's going to do it for me ranking every single KU men's basketball coach from worst to best based on my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, let me know in the comments who you think is the greatest KU men's basketball coach of all time. Also, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Push that notification bell. Tell your friends about these videos. And I should see you again when the next one comes out. But until then, have a good day. Never, ever bring exotic dancers to the field house. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.